I've wanted to do a Christmas album for ages um, and it, it gets to the time you know near Christmas every year when people have their Christmas records coming out and I always realise I've left it too late. <laughs> When I came to select the songs for it, I realised that I didn't want to restrict myself too much just to Christmas songs. I didn't want to make, you know, a completely traditional Christmas record. So I sat down and basically I just spent a few days going through, you know, any songs I could find anywhere that either mentioned Christmas or winter or snow or just being cold, <laughs> anything at all. And I listened to loads of stuff. Um, and then it was a question of thinking, well, which of these songs could work? Which could I do a version of? you know, and sort of whittling down the list. Um, and it gradually went from, you know, a list of like 50 songs to 20 and then 12. In the face we Joy, which starts off the album, is almost um, the kind of key to the record, really, and in a way it explains why I even wanted to make a Christmas record. Um, I think as a song, it's kind of, it's almost like a secular carol, really, and it's, it's me talking about all the reasons I love Christmas and why it's important to me. You know, I'm not religious, so it doesn't have that significance for me. Um, but I think it's very much a time when we do all try to, you know, set aside some of the crappy things of life and just celebrate stuff together. We recorded it all um, in the home studio. It's a little tiny basement space, which we hadn't actually used before. So um, it was kind of testing out that space to see how well it would work. You loved it as a kid, and now you need it more than you ever did. It's because of the dark, we see the beauty in the spark, that's why. Why the carols make you cry? Joy, 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 joy. You and Pearson produced it all, and so obviously he also added various overdubs. And we have a special guest appearance from Green Gart side who. Um, sings with me on one song so we do a kind of duet together and he does some harmonies with me. I've got um, Leo Taylor on drums again who played on my last record and Steve Pierce is playing bass and he used to play with everything but the girl years ago, known him for a long time. Got a big string section on a couple of tracks, got some horns on one track, um, got Ben Watt on a couple of tracks <laughs> playing some guitar, I managed to drag him in. Some people will say, you know, look, Ben's on this record, so why why is it not an Everything But The Girl record? Why don't you call it Everything But The Girl? But I think we would both agree that it really isn't because Ben's involvement came at, only at very specific points where he actually, you know, came down and, and played some instruments. But in terms of the actual creative process and the decision making, it was very much all me. And that was how we both wanted it to be. I did actually approach Ben when I had the idea and, and said, I want to make a Christmas record, you know, do you have any interest in this? And his honest answer was not really. Um, I think to him, the idea of doing a whole album of Christmas covers, it just didn't have the same meaning for him. So while he was quite happy to come and play some bits on it, he didn't really want to spend months 
thinking about it and trawling through Christmas songs and trying to choose them. When I started it, I didn't really have a sense, uh, you know, a very strong concept of what instrumentation it had to have. I think I tried to approach each song just thinking, let's come up with a specific arrangement for this track. Um, I suppose the only really essential ingredient is the sleigh bells um, for a Christmas record. And the big question with us was just, which track do we put sleigh bells on? How many sleigh bells do we have? <laughs> is this too many sleigh bells or not enough sleigh bells? Um, so they're the kind of, that's the key instrument really. The arrangements came about um, with the help of Nick Ingman, who's an arranger, and he'd done string arrangements for us in Everything But The Girl years ago. He did the arrangements for um, the Baby The Star Shine Bright album. So we'd work with him on and off through the years. Um, and I approached him to write two string arrangements and also a sort of brass band arrangement. Um, so he did an arrangement for Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, where I basically said to him, I want this to have the full sort of, you know, Hollywood string, you know, the MGM film string sound, you know, big sort of romantic string arrangement. I want it to summon up the image of you sitting by a window, you, you know, with your nose pressed against the glass and the snow starts to fall, that's what it's got to sound like. And I think that's exactly what it does sound like. I did a cover of Joni Mitchell's River where he's written a brass band arrangement and with that the idea was to try and you know drag that song which has a sort of Californian setting and do a sort of anglicised version of it so the idea was you know get this arrangement that makes you think of the Salvation Army band playing on a Saturday afternoon in the run up to Christmas on a high street somewhere. <laughs> So it's, it's quite sort of austere, um, you know, it has that real sort of purity of sound that you get with a brass band. I think it's lovely, I think it brings out something else in the song. It's quite sad. It was weird recording a Christmas album in the spring, I won't lie. Um, there were moments when I just thought, what am I doing? It feels really unfestive. I think there's almost an element when you have to start faking that festive feeling and you realise that once it gets into the run-up to Christmas and everything's Christmassy all around you, you do start to genuinely feel that Christmas feeling. But in, you know, April and May, you don't. So um, you're sort of hamming it up a little bit, which feels quite strange. My Christmas tips probably revolve entirely around list making, <laughs> which anyone who knows me would acknowledge anyway as a, a central part of my life at any time of year. Joy. Make up Christmas night